And here comes the Shark, he's now out on the field. Coming off a 24 to 18 win over St George Illawarra. The result earlier works in their favour. If they win, they can join the Cowboys, albeit with a, a worse for and against, but equal second. And that's a big return, Dale Finucane. Well, he's a tough man, isn't he? And he's their leader. Uh, after a couple of weeks' suspension, Dale Finucane is back. You watch him go early. I wonder if he might be a little bit tackle shy early after the high tackle he got a couple of weeks for, but here come the Tigers. So the West Tigers deflating last week after really being in good form. Not, not with great results to go with it, but they've been very competitive in games. It is their home game. There's plenty of Tigers fans here. Nice sprinkling of Shark support as well. Had good success at this ground. The West's Tigers, four wins. And Adam Dewey has been there now for the last couple of months, back to the 5 8 roll uh, for the last five weeks. Well, he's an attacking weapon here since he's been back for the Tigers. They've moved into 5 8 now. I love it when he runs the ball, just pins the ears back. He'll take on this Cronulla Sharks defensive line. Of course, the loss of Paul Green deeply felt especially at the Sharks, where he enjoyed the best years of his excellent playing career. Paul Green. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. The National Rugby League, the West Tigers, Cronulla Sharks, Sutherland, and the entire rugby league community pays tribute to Paul Green, who passed away on Thursday. Paul Green coached and worked alongside members of our current West Tigers football squad. Paul made his debut for the Sharks in 1994 and went on to play 95 first grade games for Cronulla, including winning the Rothmans medal in 1995. Shark number 290. We extend our condolences to Paul's family, friends, and the players and officials he inspired and mentored throughout his remarkable playing and coaching career. Please join us for a moment's silence as we remember one of the game's best, Paul Green. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Granola had some very good years with Paul Green in the halfback role, made the Super League Grand Final in 1997 and were always competitive. Well, here we go. The West's Tigers, the Cronulla Sharks in Tamworth. It's 15th versus third. The Tigers, only four wins this year, but three of them against top eight teams. Then they spring what would be a big upset. A lot of responsibility on Nico Hines. It is standing room only in Tamworth, and we're off and running. And it's Cronulla with Royce Hunt back in the side. So Cronulla in excellent form. Seven wins from their last eight games. That one loss was a very credible defeat to a full-strength Penrith outfit a few weeks ago. Britton Acora has been in good form of late. As now Dal Finucane. Already within ten of halfway on tackle number three. Ridoff. These are good leaders with the opening set. Well, the straighters play the ball, Wade Graham. And the Sharks have made 60 metres getting to this last tackle. 
And Hines got a great deal of pressure on him here as he brings Laurie forward. A very good catch from the West Tigers fullback. Yeah, it was an unbelievable set there to start the game. Look, the Tigers only put one player on the ground in Wade Graham. The ability to stand in tackles. And early in the contest, you've, you've got to go out and put your body on the line. Try and get on top of the opposition forward pack. And that was a, a pretty comfortable set there for the for the Sharks to start off. They met back in round five. It was an afternoon game at Shark Park. Cronulla winning that afternoon 30 points to four. And they've won eight of their last nine, dating back to 2015 against the Tigers. There's now Dane Laurie. It gets the Tigers to their last play. And it's Dewey giving it all he's got. The light's starting to take effect here, and it's just getting a little chilly as we send it down to a man who's already put in a five-hour driving stint today, James Hooper. G'day, Dan and Blocker. Evening, everybody. How good is it to have the NRL back out in the bush? Rugby league in Tamworth. The people are out in force. We've got a crowd of over 10,000 people here at Scully Park, as we see Jesse Ramian told to play the ball correctly. Uh, and conditions are good, Dan. Hang back on, on the mark, Jesse. Let's get back on the mark, Dan. Uh, conditions are good. Surface is a little slippery. Didn't they know you were trying to conduct a cross? Goodness me. Um, okay, thank you, Jimmy. So, it's a little bit slippery. Uh, the town has been buzzing for this game. As it uh, goes down the middle for Royce Hunt, who hasn't been there for the last couple of weeks. So, plenty of changes in this side. There's Braley. Spent time in the bin last week. Hines, the floater, and it comes down to Miller. And Miller, oh, he slipped inside Kapoa. And Cronulla on the 30 with one tackle left. So Hines looking for a contest here, and he might get one too. This is a good chase. Oh, Ikevalu out leap by Stafford Tower. Stafford Tower did well to take that ball. It looks like the Sharks were going to get it on the full there. Just snatches it out of the air. Good start from both sides here. Completing early. Because James Roberts back. For the first time since round 16, only his second first grade game since all the way back in round six. Off him, Gowie. Been productive of late. But the meter's not coming for the Tigers like they are for Cronulla. Musgrove. Down and put on his side by Royce Hunt. So Dewey, Finch was just outside the 40. Oh, he's got plenty on this. Such a weapon. We can help get him out of trouble. K. Dykes, impressive on debut last week. He's got that ability to break tackles too. We saw Dykes last week in his debut, first grade game for the Sharkies. I think he's going to get better and better. He's a very elusive player at the back for the Sharks. So Hines going for a dart down the short side. Garner wrapping him up. Now here's Mulatalo. Over the halfway line and now to the 40. Oh, that's not the best play of the ball, but we continue. There's Braley on the hunt. He's busy, Hunt. He's not a big minute play, but he's getting in. He's working. He's away. Comes to Laurie. Laurie just hangs on, grabs onto anything he can. One tackle left here for the Sharks, who are looking sharp. It's Graham, and it's a short side play, and it's saved. Nikavalu caught short. And but there's six more tackles. Six more tackles. So Trindle now. On to Finucane, who concedes on that. I'll just re reload here, Cronulla. Smart play to get that set restart at the end of that, of that set. Now Trindle. Getting it on to Ramian. Oh, good tackle down low, Kapoa. Ramian was man of the match last time they met. Back to the middle to Finucane. Shapes to pass. Happy to... Carried into the line. Two tackles left. Tigers hanging on to this point. Trindle, Hines chiming in. Oh, it comes out here and it's a try. It's Lockie Miller. It's a lovely play. Hines out of the corner of his eye. Saw a defender rush up. And it's Lockie Miller in his third first grade game. And he gets his second first grade try. Yeah, well, they make you pay after they get that repeat set. They can score so often. And it's Hines. They went up the short side. Wade Graham was a left-hander. Loves playing that left-hand side of the field. The short ball 
Look at him dig into the line here, Hines. And then the kick. That's wonderful skill. Lockie Miller won't get an easier one than that. What about the bounce? They've started the game well, the Sharkies. That's a hard thing to do in traffic. Great kick by Hines. And Miller gets the try. He has just placed that perfectly and weighted it delightfully, Nico Hines. So Miller last week, he came on after 12 minutes when, when Connor Tracy was ironed out. And we saw his ability when he made his debut back in round 11. A sensational performance against the Gold Coast. And there he finishes off a wonderful bit of play from Nico Hines. And Dan, it's always hard to defend against. When, when Royce Hunt went straight through, he made a 30-metre break. They couldn't get back behind the goal line. The scramble wasn't there for the Tigers. The kick through by Hines. And early in the game, they opened the scoring. They've come out. So Hines, that number has improved, as we've made mention of the last few weeks. It's still only 70%, that record. But much more confident from spots like this. Cronulla, it's a perfect start. It's Cronulla 6, West Tigers nil. James Hooper. Nico Hines combining with Lockie Miller to weave a little bit of magic, Dan, but it was off the back of the run from this man, Royce Hunt, punching holes through the West Tigers' middle of the field, early doors. He's into the starting side in place of Braden Hamlin Ueli, a tactical change from coach Craig Fitzgibbon. It's worked perfectly early on. There's more vision of, of Miller finishing it off. Yeah, big impact. Royce Hunt. No Andrew Fafita tonight. He's had plenty of impact off the bench in, in, in previous weeks. Getting a height on that kickoff, but no problem for Braley. And Rudolph already up to the 20. Jeez, this is ominous block. Yeah, it's a little bit of a worry too, you know. Like you've, you've got to take away their will to run. See that Toby Rudolph run there from the kickoff. And make sure that he doesn't want to do that too often. A couple of rib ticklers. Already 200 metres in seven minutes. As Fanukin plays it. Now it comes to Hunt again. This is his fourth run. Hunt will get him to close to 60 metres. Now keep attacking this side of the field here where Graham. Plenty of metres before he's put down. And again, they're kicking from reasonably close range and it's Trindle to the air this time and this should be a contest Hines waiting oh Laurie again confidently leaping over Hines yeah, he's got great timing has he Dane Laurie we saw him practicing before the game in the warm-up and that's the second take he's taken under pressure attacks the football the Tigers with the ball now up over the 30. So here's Naden a three-year deal in Put to paper this week. Now Asu Kepoa. The back's chiming in here. New Brown getting it on to Musgrove. And they make it a touch beyond halfway with the arm raised by Ben Cummins. Here we go. Here it comes to Dewey. Not much distance on it. And a very easy catch for Mulatalo. Not much pressure and no panic whatsoever. Uh, came off the boot in a manner that looked like it was going to be a nightmare, but it just came down very pleasantly, like a feather. So here's Hines over halfway, so they've got a full set now inside Tigers territory. Now Trindle at the line. Oh, there's good contact. Stafford Torres played most of the year in the centres. Puts down Nikavalu. Cronulla now to the 20 with Rudolph. Here's Hines. Linking up with Dykes. Oh, the short pass to Cora. Well read down low by the halfback Madden. Now back to Hines. And this is the last tackle. Braley, Rudolph. Keeps him alive. Trindle, the grubber, Ikevalu! Yes, sir! Matikavalu! 
gets on the score sheet nice and early. Two tries in the first 10 minutes. Well, where's the urgency from the Tigers at the back? They got the six again just over here on the 40 metre line attacking. Got the ball. Uh, um, Another set. Here's the flop back out the back there for the grubber kick. Where's the scramble here? The fullback caught up in the line. Nikavalu right on the spot. They really should have covered that up there, the Tigers. A lot of ball watching. No urgency at the back. Nikavalu scores their second try. Well. So the same sort of try just on the other side. Trindle for Nikavalu after Hines delivered for Miller. Matikavalu, only his third game at the Sharks. Played in round one, played in round three. He's got some fair players in front of him. Katoa and Mulatalo, Mulatalo namely. Connor Tracy had a real uh, fist of that wing spot before he got hurt last week. Five tries in the game once, remember, Matikavalu. Yeah, due to a little bit of a worry when a, when a team at the start of the game, when your defence should be at its best. Get a couple of repeat sets, a couple of six agains, and are able to score. After last week being down 14 nil, the Tigers against Newcastle, I thought there might have been a little bit more resolve in their defence. Not early, it hasn't. Oh, that one. That's made the order. He deliberately kicked it out there, and it came back, and it's 12 nil. The Sharks running ahead of the clock. Matty Cavalu, number 22 for Cronulla there, lining up in the unfamiliar position of left centre. He has been given an opportunity there due to the shoulder injury to Sifa Talakai. He was ruled out in the last 24 hours. Only his third game for the Sharkies this season, and he grabs his second try from the year. Really strong start from Cronulla. Alarm bells for the West Tigers. And you see, thank you, Hoops. You see there, Cronulla's for and against nowhere near the Cowboys in Melbourne, but south of the team, Firstly, if they win Cronulla, they go four points clear. So makes it very hard for South Sydney. But uh, it is important, a chance like this, to really go on with it. And the signs are good that they could really put on a score tonight. Obviously, the most important thing, they just keep winning. Now, Royce Hunt, what an impact he's had. Hockey Miller. It's time the defence muscles up. And now they're rewarded. Two tackles in and an error. So the Tigers will get their first chance to attack. Well, the good thing about that, Miller come in for a carry from the right wing. He got driven back a couple of metres. Just fumbled in the play, the ball there. That's a good win there for the Tigers. Probably seen worse, but uh, that's fair enough. And a little break for, for the host of this game. Just like to see 20 metres out here like they are. Dewey just charging at the line. He sat back in the first three sets of Tigers have had and kicked. I like it when he runs. Yeah, that's Madden feeding it. Here's Dewey. Now Laurie. Two on three here. So Laurie tries to do it on his own. And there's plenty of Sharks there to meet him. eventually out to offer Hengawi. This was where they had problems last week, putting points on the board. Now Brown onto Musgrove, getting to within a couple of metres. Cronulla so good defensively this year. Crash play for Tamo. One, two, three defenders there. Rudolph made it four. And now there's a little, a little pick and go by New Brown, and he's claiming it. He's so no good close to the, to the line, isn't he? New Brown. I've seen him already scored a couple of tries this season. And he's got a try. And the Tigers open their account with their first opportunity. I reckon it was a strong run from the captain, James Tamo. Just spun out of the tackle, was able to stand in the tackle. The quick play, the ball. You have a look at the Sharks' markers. They're caught up in this tackle. And he just goes straight away from dummy half and scores. Well, we're going to make there? sure he gets there. Got to make sure he gets there for Amanu Brown. That's a better angle. Seems like the ball got there in the end block, but, but how? Was it advanced illegally or was it momentum? Was he entitled to do what he did? 
Three years out of the game with a foot injury that just persisted and really trying to make the most of this latest opportunity. 27 years of age. And it looked like at first look in the slow motion camera that it was a, he was a little bit short, but momentum must have taken him over. A little bit of indiscretion in the play the ball there. Looks like it's confirmed. Looks like it's confirmed, although Ben Cummins still standing there, preventing the kick at goal. Hang on. Ah, problem. Okay, I thought he was short. Check it for first look. Well, I think we both did. Look, some mixed messages coming through our earpiece here, but he's yep. just looking to see if the ball gets to the line. Cleared other aspects of play. Uh, show us the line. Member sent up as a try. At this stage, we're looking for an angle to see where the ball finishes. That's coming pretty good, Jerry. Yep. There's no promotion of the ball. Based on the live decision, yep. the try will be confirmed. So it is confirmed. Mm. It is confirmed. They just wanted to make sure. You can see his right arm. He was short and then... He dragged it. He tried, dragged it. Did he promote the ball forward anyway as a double movement? It's well, on the board. You'd think the most important aspect of that was Ben Cummins sending it up as a try. If he sends it up as no try, unlikely to be overturned also. It's a nice hit back too. It's from a mistake from the Sharks through Miller. Only on the second tackle. The Tigers are good enough to score. Beautiful sunset out in the western. Billy will do it again. Well... I don't reckon you could fit many more people here. It's it unbelievable. Is, there are so many people standing oh, here. We've got to bring more football here to Tamworth, at least one a year, because every time we come here, it is full. There's the kick, and it's good. So 12 points to six. Now, yesterday, I had no luck with Greg Alexander when I asked him as we watch a replay of New Brown here about uh, House of the Dragon and, and the new show. Oh, but I know you are a Game of Thrones fanatic. And I'm going to the premiere. <laughs> the red carpet, I might add. <laughs> that's, uh, uh, the, that's how big a fan he is. So the biggest show of 2022 has arrived. August 22, House of the Dragon on Fox Showcase. Watch it in 4K Ultra HD. Only on Foxtel. So here come the Tigers now, emboldened by that try. An unforced error from the Sharks, and the Tigers get there in one set. As it comes out now for Offerhen Gowie. This is tackle three, and now he breaks the 20. This is Jock Madden now. His third game in a row in the halfback role with Luke Brooks unavailable. So impressive against the Broncos a fortnight back. There's a little chant going up here at Scully Park as Tamo charging at them. His offload rate has been up of late, not that time. Here's Dewey, this time more conventional as he goes for distance. This is Cade Dykes, just happy to make as many metres as he can up the middle. So tries to Lachlan Miller and Matt Ikevalu for Cronulla. And that one for New Brown. Who's now got five for the Tigers. So he, for a team that doesn't score all that many, he's, he's ticking the scoreboard over. It's virtually impossible to stop from dummy half. I reckon all of those tries would be... Close to the line, just gets down low and scores. Now at times, at the line, they let him run. Important tackle from the opposite number, Madden. So Trindle will have that landing on the 20. Ikevalu uncontested, but Dewey and Roberts combined. They knew what they were doing there, and they have... They have the Cronulla Centre wrapped up immediately for a changeover. Yeah, you could hear the call, too, there from the Tigers. Just to let the ball go. And don't compete for it. Let him catch it and tackle him straight away. After a poor start to the game, they're starting to wind their way back in. Getting a little bit of possession. 
six from six so far, the Tigers. Both sides handling has been good. Just the one mistake from the Sharks. Rick Kamali said earlier to the team back at the Clive Churchill studio, he wants his team to be tough. Show toughness. There's a bit of evasiveness from, from Brent Naden. A good, tidy play the ball. To Alangi. Distributing away to Kapoa. So 40 out with two tackles left here is Musgrove into Wade Graham and Brayley Bray as well. Oh, here we go, Dewey. Well, that's end over end. Nathan trying to come through, but that's an easy one for Miller. So interesting there from Adam Dewey. Normally it's that point of the field we see the... Uh, the knuckleball type bomb, but not on this occasion as Mulatala over the 20. And a tidy play the ball. That allows Braley to run. Now Hines pushing off to Alangi. Back to Rudolph. Vanuga. Missed the last two games, of course. Again, they finish the set inside Tigers' territory. Laurie. Oh, not this time. Not this time. Here it comes to Braley with a fresh set to work with. It's Mulatalo. Just happy to go to ground. Now it's Trindle. Ignores Hunt. Goes inside the Dykes. Oh, Laurie and Dewey save it. Try line just in front of him. Braley, front man, oh my goodness, too big and too strong, Royce Hart. No chance for Dane Laurie. There are not many fullbacks that can stop the big fella at close range. And the Sharks quickly reassert their authority on this game. Well, he's already run for 70, 71 metres there, Hunt. No deterrent, here's the drop here. It's the third time that one bounces off the chest. Every time they get a repeat set, they're able to score. That's the third time. The front man is hit. A couple of arm grabbers throwing out, throwing out arms there. You've got to get in front of him here. Straight through the meat. So Royce Hunt has been superb. Just his third NRL try, 32nd game. Six runs, 75 metres. He's just been too much to handle. He's going to have a full day. He'll keep running like that unless someone gets in front of him and tries to challenge him. You can't allow tries like that in first grade, just straight through the meat of a simple play the ball. And that's been the problem with the Tigers all season. He's had some injury problems uh, over the last couple of years, but boy, if they can get 30 or 40 minutes out of him like this most weeks, what a weapon to have. into the back netting 18 points to six a near perfect start from the black white and blue of the Cronulla Sharks as we see Royce Hunt into the starting side crash over and make a statement in the middle of the field for the Sharks Scully Park at Tamworth it is official Dan the crowd is sold out 10,048 people are here in the New England region they are loving life how good is it oh. And the thing is, Hoops, that they've been here for hours trying to get the good position, and there's been some good country footy on during the afternoon in the sunlight. And let's not forget how good a Nick the field is in. How good is it? Every time we go to country grounds block, and you go to more country grounds than most, they, they're always pristine. There's so much pride taken by the local curators. By the way, I hope that crowd counts the people up in the, uh, in the uh, house on the veranda. That, that gets more full by, by the minute. There's Wade Graham. For Al Finucan on the next. Out Out Crashing down the edge is Nakora. They're doing it comfortably, Cronulla. Hines on now. Ramian draws in. Not the best pass, but good enough. Miller's kick. Dykes gets his first NRL try. 
Oh, it was inevitable. And it comes at Scully Park in Tamworth. Cade Dykes. Well done, young man. No, well done there from Dykes. We saw him last week. He was a brilliant brawl runner. The kick back in field. I like the calmness. They go up the short side again. And here's the kick back in field here from Miller. Look at Dykes. He just checked himself too. Good play from the young fella. Didn't get in front of the kicker there. And just waited for the bounce. You won't get an easier one than that. So Miller does beautifully. Firstly, to haul that ball in. And another pinpoint kick. Four tries. Three of them for Cronulla off kicks. We've seen in the very small sample size we've been presented, he is in and around the ball all the time, Kate Dykes. In and around the middle of the field. Uh, big smile on the young man's face. You see where he came from there. They went up the short side down their right, the left-hand defence of the Tigers, but he was just hovering around the play the ball with expecting something to happen, and it did. What about the kick from Miller? Let's not underestimate that. At full tilt, mm. to kick the ball back in field like that, that was a superb play. And they're in again, the Sharks. So Hines has four from four. The kicks seemingly get easier. The ball might have been singed on the way through. As it's Cronulla that are scorching hot. Miller's kick, it just gets better with every angle. Four tries in 23 minutes. Now, after this, a big one for the Broncos, needing to get back in form against Newcastle. Should be a big crowd there too at Suncorp Stadium. So we'll be all over that as soon as we're done here at Scully Park. Broncos Knights, the final game on this Super Saturday. This ground hosted a lot of Amco Cup and Panasonic Cup and a lot of Great Britain uh, touring games when, when those two... Oh, there's a strong uh, tackle. And it's only in the last few years we've, we've returned here with a few NRO games as Cam McInnes. Scything run. Now it's for Nukin. And as he goes down, James Hooper, what have you got for us? West Tigers coach Brett Kamali has reacted to their weak defence in the middle. Dan, double change. He's interchanged his starting front rowers, removed from the field. James Tamo and Zane Musgrove into the action for Nua Pole and Thomas Freeben. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jimmy. What's frightening? This is already the highest score they've considered in the first half all year, and there's still 16 minutes to go. And Nakora gallivanting. And now McKinnis straight down the middle. Comes to Laurie. And Laurie comes up with the tackle. Just gaps everywhere. Rayleigh. Hines. Couldn't decide where to kick it. And Laurie. Oh, he's held on to it. He's held on to it, Laurie. I think it was, I think it was Ramian that was just trying to strip the ball there off Laurie. He's had a tough afternoon here to start in the first half. Taking a couple of good bombs, dropped one, and cleans up well at the back there for the Tigers. Most that conceded was 20. That was against the Cowboys in Magic Round. 20 to 12 they trailed at half time. So this is new territory, unfortunately, for the Tigers in 2022. Geez, they've gone nowhere. Look where they will be kicking from. Cronulla have muscled up in this set. So this is tackle five. And off a hand, Gowie barely gets it at the 20. This needs everything Adam Dewey's got. The pass doesn't help. And Miller will ease it up over halfway. More field position for Cronulla. Muller Taylor, he hasn't scored yet. They've got four and he's yet to crack them. McGuinness. Game number 150. Outstanding start from him. Drindle. On to Hines. Oh, and the ball comes out. Dewey with the tackle, claiming strip. Ben Cummins not having any of it. And Hines not sure. He'll let that one go. I think he should let that one go. It looked like he's trying to pass the ball on the outside. 
get on the outside of Dewey. Oh, you're not going to win that one. He's thinking about passing the ball. So a rare error for, for Cronulla. Their completion rate has been terrific. 74% of the games, we've seen the completion rates there, 74% has been at this southern end. The total domination. The blip being that new brown try. Oh, Naden. Taken down quickly by Ramian and Miller. Now Kapoa in his third year of first grade. Tigers won't want to get blown out by too many because they've got Gold Coast one win behind. The four and against is not all that dissimilar. So if Gold Coast pinch one on the way home, that could be a problem for the Tigers. Freeband made his debut last week. Captain of the West's Magpies, 27 years of age. Madden kicking. Bit of momentum in that set for the Tigers. And it'll be Cronulla ball, but they'll get it on their 10. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. He, he was over the 40 metre then. He's going for the 40 20 Madden with the kick. And McGuinness, you, yeah, you already mentioned his 150th game. What an effort. But coming onto the field already, he's already made a long range break. He's only been on for five minutes. A couple of hit ups for me. He just brings that energy off the bench. Three line breaks for Cronulla. We've just been on top in every department. Dykes, there he is, hunting around the middle. Twelve and a half to go in this first half. As Rudolph goes to ground. That looked like a side that's satisfied with. Oh, that's not a great pass from Braley, but it's let go as Nakora over the 40. So Hines. Contest. Laurie again has to come forward. And he bumps away from Trindle. And now he's away. Well, this is what we like to see from Dane Laurie. That's a tremendous run. Well, what about that for a return? Now they've got to get on board with it now, the Tigers. Just go straight through the front door now. Don't try and spread too early. And Roberts over halfway. That's a terrible play the ball. Slow. And, oh no, Vepar puts it down. Tackle three. The rare occasion they they get some momentum. They're on the front foot off that lorry run. And the opportunity disappears quickly. Well, the other thing too is Roberts gets tackled and looks up at the opposition. Just play the ball. You're getting on a little bit of a roll there. It's worse for the next bloke who's going to run the ball if it's a slow play the ball. You can't do it. There's the mistake again. After a great run from Laurie at the back. This is Kapoor. Plenty of first grade experience uh, this year. There's now Dykes. Hines in for McInnes. His fifth run. They've all had purpose. Braley on the 30. Hines floats on the left. Now Hamlinuele steaming away. Oh, they stop him this time. Laurie with a touch of help from off of Hengawi. Now Trindle under pressure. Oh, he gets it on. McInnes plucks it out. Then gets it on Nakora. Nakora and Kapoa makes up for the error. That's a great play from Asu Kapoa. How did Cronulla not score? Hamlin Uele looked home. Yeah, Uele just backed himself too. Again, two great bits of play there from Dane Laurie. First the kick return and then the try saver. So then it comes to Dewey. Just happy to run here as we enter the last 10 of this, this first half. New Brown, big contribution from him for the Tigers with that try. So Tyrone Peachy coming into the game and with New Brown off, we might see a fair bit of that Peachy in the dummy half roll. That's free band. Now Dewey from inside the 40. That's got a little bit more wobble on it, but again, a beautiful catch. Dykes not breaking stride. Yeah. No, like 
again close to halfway. He shows plenty of confidence, doesn't he? Imagine when he's played 60 games for the Sharks. Okay, Under Trimble, keeping it going. Ikevalu, he's one of the try scorers. And Roberts that gets him down one on one. Oof, Wade Graham's pass picked out by Mulatalo. Plenty of metres. With a couple of tackles left now as Braley gets it on. Hamilton New LA distributes. Hines to the line. Dykes has a crack. Kapoa knew where Dykes was going. So the final play with Hines going for the contest yet again. Here comes Ikevalu. And the Tigers with Stafford Tour come away with it. Gee, they're down 24 6, but they've survived a, a few close calls as well. Yeah, they've hung on. They've showed a bit of resolve in the defence the last 10 minutes. After a great tackle there from Laurie over the other side of the field on New Alley. And that time they hang on again, the Tigers. He's got to find some way to get up the other end. That's been the hard part. Filmer to a lung hit. This is his first run. His first run. And we are 32 minutes in. There's Peachy. Evade Hines for long enough. Laurie. Friendly bounce for Ghana. Almost gets rid of Ikevalu. And now, Dewey, the chip and chase. And he comes up with a brilliant play. Keeps it alive somehow. Decora, though, uh -oh. on the hind. Trouble. Oh, big ankle tap by Tua Lungi. And Peachy looked like he was going for the steal. Cronulla start on the 40. Good, exciting stuff from... Adam Dewey. Might as well try something with this game, getting away from them. But Cronulla closing in again. Lockie Miller. His eighth run of this first half. Now Braley for Hines. Hines out for Trindle. Here's Wilton's first touch. Not as successful as last week. He scored with his first touch against the Dragons. Back now for Graham. Happy to dump it in for Hamlin Uele. Driving, closing in. What a colossus near the line. Final play. Trindle running. Keeps it going. Still the last. Maybe been a thought there was a hand in there from a Tiger. Nakora. Oh, it opens up for Nakora. Gets inside Peachy as he... Oh, he wears one and goes straight to ground. There's the penalty. There's the penalty from Ben Cummins. Yep. Might have been a thumb in the eye here by the yeah, look of it. Let's have a look. Oh, no. Finger. That's all. Peachy throws out the arm. Well, it's innocuous, but it's certainly striking the face. First penalty. We've now gone 34 minutes and finally we have our first penalty. What are they going to do here, the Sharks? 24 to 6. They go for the jugular. Will they? Or will they go for goal? We're in no hurry here. And yeah, they're going to go for two. So they're playing a bit of a for and against game at the moment. So 24 to 6. Tigers have had just eight tackles inside Cronulla's half. That's how dominant Cronulla's been territorially. You might be right, he might have, yeah, he's caught one in the eye there, Nakora. That's why he's still uh, struggling with it. In the biggest halftime lead, that memorable Sifatalakai display against Manly, they led that night 32 0. So they're not, well, probably not going to get to that sort of uh, margin, but the lead's about to get to 20. There's a couple of Cronulla fans. There he is, Nico. I wonder if, wonder if he smiled because he just saw that one of those signs. So he's getting plenty of practice, Nico Hines. Five from five. The Sharks now lead by 20. 
And Sharks captain Dale Finucane has just been given a little breather. First game back for Dale after a couple of weeks suspension. Hit with that grade three careless contact charge. Just a little freshen up. What a first stint. Eight carries, 70 metres. Real captain's not. Yeah, it's a bad par for the course from him, isn't it? This has been some stars right across the park for Cronulla. Royce Hunt, by the way. There he is. Seven runs, 86 metres. And that try. That's a fair contribution. So off we go again. And it's McKinnis first to bring it back. He's got a Bit of a quiet crowd now. With this margin blowing out. There's Hamanuele. Not as impactful this time, but couple of menacing runs already. Graham onto the Cora. Now, hadn't had the arm there, but there were always multiple players on him. And there's another strong run, although well handled this time. Hamlin Uele. That's Fanua Ball there, the exciting youngster. And Kilmatua Lungi down low. This could be tricky, this one. Floating towards the touchline and an innocuous bounce. Halftime coming up with Vonnie and the team back in Sydney, the Clive Churchill studio. Geez, that was a big result this afternoon. There'll be more on that. The Roosters against the uh, Cowboys at the SCG. And you take that into account with what looks like it's, it's going to happen here. And again, that top eight just changes complexion ever so slightly. Cowboys in second, but certainly no guarantee to stay there. Uh, in future weeks. And the Roosters coming home a bit like South Sydney. There's now off a hen galley for Peachy. This is all a bit flat footed. Roberts keeping it going here, but always there in numbers, the Sharks. Now comes to Freeband. Getting it on for Madden. Here's Laurie. She's been busy. Ah, oh, the pass wasn't that great. And Maiden couldn't haul it in. Play the ball in the middle. Play the ball. Well, they just don't look like they've got a lot of energy. They've used a lot up with their defence on their goal line, the Tigers. A lot of one out running in that set. You've got to score points and play against this Sharky side. You've got to move the ball around. The execution not right there. Maiden comes away the error again. Cronulla looking for their 15th win of the year. Now when they won the comp in 2016, they finished third. That's where they are now. That's a bit of an omen, mate. Eh? Well, I bet Sharks fans already knew that fact. Here comes Nakora now. Here's Braley on to Hines, back to the middle. Miller, Miller, oh, if he just got a better bounce. And it was Fanua Bole who was back there. Well, that was Dykes coming through. But my goodness, it looked like it was going to happen so easily. Just bounced the ball, just bounced away from Dykes at the last second. And they bounced up in his hands. Would have been hard to stop that close to the line. Yeah, Kane okay, Dykes again in the middle. Just when things happen around the middle, he's there. There's a tidy offload. That was to Alungi getting that going. Kapoa pushing away from Ramian. Miller finishing it off. So with 35 seconds left, Naden charging it upfield. We've already seen a Dewey chip and chase from inside his own half. Uh, he's going to go the more traditional Dewey route here. And comes to Mulatalo, 60 metres from the line with a couple of plays left. They'll be well satisfied with their work here, Cronulla. They have certainly taken care of business to this point. Now it comes out here to Wilton. 
And there it is. You heard it. Yeah, geez, the sound effects are good today here at Scully Park. You heard the uh, touch judge ending that with the forward pass call. Half time at Scully Park. The Sharks well on their way. 26 points to six. Okay, time you run. Could Cronulla maintain the rage and really put on a big score? Can the Tigers do something out of the ordinary? Going off for him, Gowie. He's been in really good form the last few weeks. Need to be careful there that that was ripped out by Hamlin Uele. That would have been some start of the second half. The new Apollo. Over the 20. Entered the game not too far from the halftime break. Freeband getting it on. Dewey for Laurie. Here's a bit of space. As James Roberts gets some clear air for the first time. Good tackle though from Teague Wilton brings that to an end but this is a good start for the Tigers takes them four tackles to get it inside Cronulla territory here's the kick now from Dewey uh, that's easily collected by Dykes but the innocuous kick aided by a good chase you just like to see someone put him in the in the space there James Roberts just couldn't beat Wilton on the outside there but we know what speed he's got just who's getting you the ball on the inside Jesse Ramian. I haven't seen much of him. They haven't needed him as much as uh, as usual. As Blake Braley, plenty of metres. You know, he's only missed 41 minutes this year. 20 of them were spent in the sin bin. He's an 80-minute player, that's for sure. There's a bit of Ramian. And he got by Tua Lungi after dragging defenders with him. So out it comes for Hines on the last. Looking for the corner. Naden decides he wants to run. And Wilton first to meet him, but Naden by him. Ah, good tackle. Ikavalu around the waist. Cronulla have lost their last three second halves. Obviously, they've got a 20-point buffer to play with here. But they have done tonight what they've done for so much of the season. Hot starters. As Madden distributing. Your Lungy. Comes out. Tigers claim it was a strip. Referee says Cronulla ball. Well, I think he's trying to offload the ball out the back then. To a Lungy. And that's a turnover. On the 30 metre line. On, on the first tackle now the Sharks. And that's to the second half. To a Lungy who was involved in that tackle. Tigers say, can you please stop play, referee? And he won't. He's not in, he's not in the way, Kilmatua Lungi. So right now, down by, down to 12 men. Tua Lungi in awful pain there. Go back. Go back. As Trindle. McInnes! McInnes! Oh, almost! Laurie saves it again. And gives away a penalty with a leg pull. Gee, is that a professional foul? Oh, a little bit of uh, sympathy, perhaps, from Ben Cummins. He's been good, good through the middle, hasn't he? So, Cam McGuinness. It's Tua Lungy here, who continues to struggle. Now, this is oh yeah, you're right, Block. That's just a, a, an offload gone wrong, but certainly paid a price for being twisted into the ground. I see an obvious one, I'll stop it. I haven't seen it and I haven't got a signal. Your trainer's been with him for quite a your trainer has been with him for quite a while. So he's, but, he's nowhere near the play. No, it's been a running battle between the, the Tigers and Ben Cummins ever since that incident. So he's still got 20 metres to travel here and he's dawdling off because he's hurt. So they're still down a man. They're still down a man. Cronulla haven't exposed it yet. Austin Diaz comes into the game. He sat on the bench all 80 minutes last week. So He'll get to come on for his fourth first grade appearance. So 13 on 13. And here's Hamlin Ueli. Hamlin Ueli gets it all the way to the line. The Tigers just cannot muscle up. We've seen Royce Hunt early, Hamlin Ueli. In the last few minutes, either side of half time, torturing these Tigers down the middle. He plays it on the 10. 
And this time McInnes is handled well. Here's a penalty. You can, sing, you can challenge it if you want. So that's you two quick penalties. No warning there from Cummins. It's like we've got plenty of referees out there, the Tigers. Granola are in no hurry. They're patient. Comes to Nakora. So we've had more penalties in the last minute than the previous 40 minutes plus. Graham has a dart. Ball there was there. So it was off of Hengawi and Diaz. Braley to the open side. Trindle gets it on. Three waiting for Wilton. And comes back to Graham. Oh, Hines. That's a great tackle from Madden all over the Cronulla halfback. Still got two tackles to endure, though, the Tigers. Graham's dummy. As he runs into Laurie and Freeband. Another one there as well. So they've had a couple of challenges so far, second half. They've hung on to this point. Hines. On to Hamlin Newell there. Ball comes out. Tigers come away with it. Reward for effort there for the, for the West's team as Garner helps himself to a few extra metres. Uh, he has a go, doesn't he? Garner, he's the man that cleaned the ball up there, sprinted up 20 metres. Very good defender, Garner, going to the Panthers next season. Yeah, trying to deal with him in around May or June. So Tigers, this is rare stuff. Ball inside Cronulla territory. This is tackle four. And Freeband is back slammed. Peachy. Another fan, Gowie to Madden. Now Dewey. Oh, it's it's done the winger in Stafford top. It was a half volley. And again, they fail to get through the full set with these rare attacking opportunities. Well, it's the first time they've had the ball really in the second half in any sort of field position. Can't complete. Let's find out what was said at half time. James Hooper. Well, that man on screen now, Tigers coach Brett Kamali, he challenged West Tigers and said so on Super Saturday prior to kickoff. He wanted them to be a tough side. They were anything but through the middle third of the field in that opening half. So he's challenged them in the second half to really try and tighten things up there. From Craig Fitzgibbon, he just wants more of the same. Do not be complacent. Let's finish the job. So here's Ramian. There's an opportunity. That's a scything run brought down by Kapoa. But a terrific start to the set for Cronulla as Lockie Miller... Only tackle two. Miller, one of the try scorers. Graham gets it on. Trindle, the extravagant dummy. Ikevalu comes up with it. Oh, a knock on. A knock on. Ben Cummins there calling that one immediately. And they are going to challenge. Yeah, I don't blame him. I don't two think the ball has three. come off. A Sharks player here. Captain's challenge. Sharks challenging a knock on. It's come off one of the Tigers who were in the defensive line there. The angle we have here, it's not to say it's the right angle, but it did seem to suggest this was all clean. I think it's touched Wilton. Just looking to see if there's a knock on by the Sharks. Oh, that might be a right call. Tough for the video ref here. Jared Sutton. There's no touch by Teague Wilton. We're playing on to this point. Does Roberts knock it on Indy Kavalu? But no, no, I think it's knocked on by Ikevalu into Roberts, is it? Well, it's unlikely to get this overturned, you would think, but who knows? Who knows? Oh, well, yeah, it might be Roberts. Okay, the ball is contacted by Matt Ikevalu mm. and touches his bicep before it then makes contact with the Tigers defender. The challenge okay. is unsuccessful. Okay, so... They've won something. Okay. <laughs> Could have been chest. It, it was the bicep, and that's the end of that. So this, by this time in the first half, Cronulla had their first try and were about to score their second. No points so far. 
since the halftime break. Last time there was a game here in Tamworth, it was 2020. The Warriors became something of a local uh, local team. Remember, they spent time here during the early COVID, one of the COVID lockdowns, and they thumped Newcastle 36 to six. And they were loved here in Tamworth. Haven't had an NRL game here since. There's all off a hen Gowie. That's wild. And now Roberts. Nice. Push on Ikevalu, a nice second push. This is a great run. <laughs> Basically gets them back to where they started, but he looked impressive in doing it as now Peachy picks up, provides for Offerhen Gowie. Madden, straight, Dewey, passing. Three man closed down. Hines around the waist. The core there as well. Here's the kick from Madden. Oh, Mulatalo. Well, it's Isn't it amazing. They got no regard for their body. The way that he charged onto that ball, then Mulatalo. Gee, it's not quite what he did at Shark Park a couple of weeks ago, but it's impressive. <laughs> Don't Cronulla soak up another set. There's now Hines off the ground. Oh, McInnes has been unstoppable at times. Hines. Deliberately, it seemed, inside the 40, but now going for distance here and easily taken by Laurie. And it comes quick ball movement going from the number five to the other winger. With Ty connecting with Naden, Wade Graham coming off. It, this might be a permanent thing for Wade Graham, that, that, that cut. It just looks like it's going to keep opening up every week above the left eye. Is Dewey! Wilton knew he was going to run. Trindle there as well. Little ball there in seventh first grade game. So, time to get through another set here. It's Madden this time going to the air. And Miller. Oh, boy, what a number he does on Laurie. Beats another and a third, if you don't mind. Lockie Miller. He's been dancing through the middle all game, hasn't he? Miller. No fear from the winger. Over 100 metres. Uh, here is Jesse Colhoun. So great to see him get some, some game time. Young man from the Wollongong region. But it was a train and trial with the SG Ball squad where he won his position here at Cronulla. And there he goes, charging up to the 40. Hines on the last. And tough stuff there, Naden coming down with it. Oh, knock on. Oh, a knock on from Brent Naden. He caught the ball and then the ball comes out of his hands as he tries to get up to play it. Well, he did all the hard stuff there, Dan. It was a great take, wasn't it? Just trying to get to his feet as quick as he can. He's got hold there of Ramey Nick. Can't do that. Get up and play the ball. You think he might have been slightly milking? I'd say so. So here we go for Cronulla. Golden opportunity to add to their, their lead. Trindle in the foreground there on the left side. No surprise. Oh, it goes out there, but something went wrong. But Braley, that'll be a zero tackle, so it doesn't really cost him anything. Hines screaming for 10 in the bin here. He is giving it and having a real conversation with Cummins. Another charge near the line from Hamlin Uele. Tamo rushed up here. Hines getting it on. 
Trindle. Ramian caught up in traffic this time. He's so good at offloading, but Borlet does enough to lock that up. But another one six here. more tackles. Surely Cummins' patience is being tested here as Trindle. He's wrapped up. Yeah, here we go. Someone might go to the bin here. Got to release, mate. Okay. So it was James Tamo giving that penalty away, and Ben Cummins keeping his powder dry. You've got to think it's it's a penalty or two away. It's called who? What's happened here? I think it's his eye trainer. So this is Garner. One there. Jesse, Jesse. Jeez, we had earlier an eye situation for Britain the Cora, and now Garner's copped a little poke. And Twelve and a half gone in this second half. 26 to 6 was the half time score. We watch uh, Garner. Okay. Yeah, Trindle threw out the palm. and Unusual way for that to happen. But uh, it's like he's got straight in there. Tackle one. Wait for the foot. So here we go. Braley back inside. Hamlin Uele. Hamlin Uele gets no. over. Gets over. Men against boys. The dancing man, Hamlin Uele, scores. He's been desperate for one of those tonight. And Cronulla hit the 30s. Yeah, just a change of angle. Just a drop-off play. Back on the inside. We've seen how paper-thin the Tigers have been on their goal line here tonight. Look at this. Just a second man play, the drop play. Not good enough in the wrestle. There's three players there for the Tigers. Uele just keeps the legs pumping. Scores the first try of the second half for the Sharks. They're like Tallyo paper. <laughs> I've been a Tallyo for a while. <laughs> oh, geez, Hamlin ULS. So he, he wasn't going to let Royce Hunt get one and, and, and not join the party as well. They aren't great uh, replays for, for, for the Tigers, are they? It's conceding one like that. You know that dance that he put on after? Is that no, still on the the five gorillas for the try celebration? No, no, no. That's, Is it over? That's done. We'll give him some anyway. Looks pretty good. Well, this time last year he was pretending to punch out teammates, wasn't he? Hamlin Uele. Come off the top rope, remember? <laughs> Looked a bit Michael Flatley, that little dance. I don't think it was the river dance, but it was something. There's the kick. 32 to 6. Hind, 6 from 6. Well, if it is. Michael Flatley is in any trouble, is he? <laughs> James Hooper. He's been enormous, this man on screen, Braden Hamlin. Well, he started the game off the interchange bench. A tactical ploy from Craig Fitzgibbon the last couple of weeks. Eight carries, 90 metres, three tackle busts, a couple of line breaks as well. And it shows you the faith that Craig Fitzgibbon has in this Cronulla side at the moment. He's got both of his senior leaders in Wade Graham and Dale Finuc and both off the field at the moment. One positive for the West Tigers, Kel Matulagi has passed that HIA. He will be back. OK, thank you, Hoops. And that has come back towards Cronulla. Off on. OK, we've got to play the ball. And it's Cronulla ball. So they'll play it at the point where the ball uh, was initially touched. And that's uh, Kel Matulagi. Brisbane, Newcastle on the way here on Fox League. Brisbane looking to just uh, get themselves back on track. Playing a team in the Knights at one last week, of course, against the Tigers. That's a knock-on against Wilton. No challenges there. No so challenges. a knock-on. So the completion rate still around the 80% mark for Cronulla, but just slightly tardy since about the midway point of the first half. A few little errors creeping in. You just need that attention to detail, don't you? When you're getting up to play the ball, we see so many times players moving off the mark or losing on the way up or not putting their foot on the ball. Practice all that stuff. 
So here's Laurie. He's really involved himself. By the way, Cronulla's biggest win of the year was against the Tigers. 26 the margin, 30 to 4 that day. So tied with that at the moment. Now this is Austin Diaz. On the 30, Colquhoun involved in the tackle. Madden to the line. Ball there. There's the offload. Garner galloping away. That's a classy Tigers try. Something for their fans to get excited about as they get their first of the second half. Well, it was good play there by Jock Madden. Looked like he was going to pass out the back and hit the front man. They were able to offload the ball to Garner, and he sprints away to score. Off the back of a play the ball mistake there from the Sharks. Here's the offload. That's great footy. Garner, too much pace. Gets on the outside of Dykes. The Tigers get one back. Doesn't Jock Madden play straight? There's, there's Bullet. Big raps, big hopes for him. Obviously, Garner's not going to be at the club after this year, but the man who laid that on could be a big part of the future. That's a good moment for Luke Gardner. It was only a few minutes ago. He was struggling with that eye problem. He's still struggling with it. He could see the try line, though. No problem. So here now is Adam Dewey. A metre in from touch. Not much of a breeze to speak of here in Tamworth very pleasant conditions which we've mentioned a few times and that one is perfect no. 22 to play 32 to 12 the score in favour of Cronulla now, it's time to get those tickets all sorted there's some Thumping games coming up between now and the finals and the finals as well, of course. NRL.com slash tickets. I think there's a sprinkling of tickets left for the uh, opening of the new stadium, South and the Roosters, but there's so many big games between now and then. So the best way to experience the Premiership is live, and it's wonderful the people of Tamworth have done that, selling out Scully Park yet again. That's woken the crowd up here. Well, you want to hope it wakes the Tigers up too after scoring that try through Garner. Leads the way there for the, the Tigers in attack, 78 metres from the big fella. He needs to get a few more blokes on board with him. Now it comes to Laurie. Straight into Hines and Dykes and Hamill Newelli. Remember, this is a Cronulla, here's six more tackles. A Cronulla side missing so many key players, particularly backs. Moylan, not too far away. Talakai, he was a late withdrawal. Connor Tracy, Will Kennedy had surgery on an ankle. But uh, hopefully back when the finals begin. There's a fair bit for Cronulla fans to get excited about. But it's the West Tigers looking for back-to-back -back tries. As the ball keeps going here. This is New Brown. As Roberts goes out to do, do. Sees a bit of space in front of him. And gets it on. Roberts, so close, so he goes himself. Sharks there in numbers. Wilson and Trindle. Most important there. Madden gets it on. Oh, Diaz. In no man's land, so he tries to do it on his own and he gets within millimetres. Changeover. Well, that's been a lot better there from the Tigers the last couple of times they've had the ball. Been able to stand in tackles and offload. Just upsets that defensive line of the Sharks. But they weren't good enough to get another try and go back to back. So there's Dale Finucane, Toby Rudolph back as well. There's Rudolph. There's some post-contact metres. Ball there went down awkwardly there and writhing on the ground. 
One to keep an eye on. With Hines now running. And he seems to be okay. And now it's Dyke slicing and dicing and running and evading and getting it to inside the 30. Out it comes. Long ball. Trindle, Mulatalo, the flick pass, great take, Ikevalu. Now the scramble from Dewey and Laurie save it. Last tackle. Wilton, dummies. He couldn't, could he? Not this time. They got under him. Well, that would have been the sort of try you'd see in park footy if he, if he scored from there, but the Tigers this time hang on. Yeah, he tried to do it all himself there. Looked like they overchased from Marker. Oh, geez, that was close, but they got there. Wilton held up. What about the play there from Dykes? Just back on the inside, through the middle of the Tigers again. A little bit of ball playing there from Finucan. Here they go. Ball came out of the hands of Brent Naden. So Cronulla. Nakora gets it on to Ramian, and he's over. It's another Cronulla try off another Tigers error. They are piling on the pain. Jesse Ramian scores. Cronulla. Out to a 36 to 12 lead and so much time remains. And that's his ninth try of the season too, Ramian. Virtually impossible to stop close to the line. There's a the ball just coming out there. They go straight away to an edge. A little bit of footwork. McCora gets the ball away. The flick out the back. And they're just always on. Straight away from a, from a turnover. Let's go straight into attacking mode. That's a beautiful flick out the back. Ramian gets over the stripe. So Ramian, who's been in such good form in, in recent weeks, hasn't been needed to be his dynamic best today. He's, he's normally the one providing offloads like that, but happy to be the recipient there. So there you go, back-to-back -back tries against the Tigers. He was man of the match in round five, and, uh, scoring a try part of that man of the match performance. Nakora had plenty of work to do there too, but just caught Dane Laurie one out. There's someone else should have come in and joined the tackle there, but there was no urgency from the Tigers. If you're near enough, you're close enough, you've got to join into the tackle. He just palmed away from Laurie and flicks the ball out the back to Ramian. And they turn defence into attack. Next few. So Hines to protect his perfect record coming in there on a very squarish angle and it's clearly working for him although that one just swings away that ruins the record it's been an excellent form though in, in the last few weeks Cronulla 36 West Tigers 12 the black, white and blue of Cronulla absolutely flying at the moment. This will be three wins in a row and eight wins from their last nine games. And it's impossible to ignore the job that new coach Craig Fitzgibbon has done in the Shire this season. He went into the market. He made the key signings of Nico Hines and Dale Finucane. And he has completely transformed this club into a genuine premiership force. There's no doubt about that. And here's the, the restart and knocked again for it. Again, the Tigers get there first. They got a lot of flack, the Sharks, with the way John Morris was exited, but it had a lot to do with the way it was done rather than the fact they brought in Craig Fitzgibbon. And no team has an easier draw than Cronulla coming home. They have all matches against bottom eight teams, so their for and against might be great. It might not matter. They just keep winning. Manly next week at Brookfarm. Now, they have a horrific record of that ground. I think the Sharks have won five times there in 54 years. Canterbury at home, Newcastle away. That is as friendly a draw as any of those teams have. Cowboys have the likes of South and Penrith on the way. And, uh, Melbourne have a couple of toughies as well. So it's there for Cronulla if they're good enough. Now it's Trimble. Getting it on. Teague Wilton. Oh. 
And there's Trindle again. Looking up with his halves partner. Dykes really giving Ramian nowhere to go there. That's okay. Come down to this final play. Hines. A lot of these kicks have been prevalent tonight. The contest kicks. Great catch, Laurie. Now he's getting some room to move. He's had some great moments tonight, the Tigers fullback. He's a good move with the ball, isn't he? Looks like he's injured here. It's a slow play, the ball here from Laurie. And Rudolph in the back play is in all sorts of trouble too for the Sharks. So, hobbling straight off Toby Rudolph. That's one we must keep an eye on. He's been tremendous for the Sharks up front this year. So he's Madden again, nice and straight, and giving the defenders something to think about. Six more tackles as well. As Brown to offer him Gowie. New Brown under Musgrove. So a lot of these players back for their second stints. Good field position here for the Tigers. Dewey dishing off. And Roberts. Is a set up play as they open up the left side. Brown to Musgrove. Chop down. And Cora first to meet Zane Musgrove. Still got three tackles left. Off in Gowie to Madden. Madden to Tulangi and he gets over. Now, did he ground it? He did not. He did not. So again, Madden with the work. Tulangi so close. Yeah, too long. He looked like he was in for Tigers all money. A challenging, the lost ball. I wonder if it's Dykes that gets there to make We're going to see if the there. Tigers retain possession. No, it's Miller comes over. No, he's yeah. lost on the way down. The Tigers knocked the ball well on done there by over Miller the to join the tackle. The challenge is unsuccessful. I think the. Uh, I think the bunker is uh, on location tonight, Block, because we're at a country venue and saw Jerry Sutton downstairs, so they could pack it up and get on the road early and beat the traffic. Because it's done now, the challenge system, although we still might have some video replays with tries before now and between now and full time. Ooh, a little outside inside there, but not full with New Brown. And Dale Finucan carrying it forward. Don't forget, we're off to Suncorp after this. The Broncos, Saturday night Broncos. Had a few of those this year. And as comes to Wikivalu, they'll want to hope for a better night than a couple of weeks ago when they were on that in that same time slot. Tackle three, Matt. Tackle three. Tackle three, you got that, mate? Lockie Miller. Just tackle three, Brayden. And Rocky Miller, it's a long journey. We're at 60 metres. This will take a little while. And if that's the end of his night, it's a good night's work. A very good night's work. Wade Graham again. See, old saying he's been in and out like a fiddler's elbow block. <laughs> For old Wade. Come at the back end. They've used him pretty well here, too. They're just keeping him fresh. Come the big semi-final times, a very experienced player. We'll check on uh, Toby Rudolph's condition with hoops in a moment, but let's stick with this, with Cronulla looking for another try. Vanukin to the 20. Final tackle. Braley to Trindle. Laurie again, confident, lets the ball come to him. And... Finally put down. Okay, James Hooper, what have you got? An update on Sharks prop Toby, Toby Rudolph. It is a non-contact injury, Dan. So uh -oh. he's just had a bit of a slip on the surface. You can see it there. And it is his right knee that has caused oh, him no. some problems. It looks as though his evening is over. He did go immediately up the tunnel. Mm. Non-contact. They're, they're words no one wants to hear. That's all it is, just slipped awkwardly in a mild twist. No news on that uh, through the night. 
Once uh, everything gets wrapped up here on Super Saturday. Tamo, the early ball for Dewey. Dewey keeps it going. Garner. They've looked good when they've started to offload the ball in the second half. The Tigers. To a lungy. Really stamped his mark on this game, particularly in the second half. And that's a rumble for the ball. And it's play on and no restarting of the count. And they've hung in there the second half. They've conceded two tries, scored one, the Tigers. Comes to Dewey. Now for Low. Here's Roberts. Can't quite get rid of Graham. He got absolutely minced. Dane Laurie, he's still down. Now, this is a, a kick which is awkward for all involved. Touch. Yep. He actually turned around to put the ball back on the inside. And he got whacked. Laurie. That might have beaten them all, that one. There it is. Bushka. That's uh, might have been winded for a moment there. So let's see, well, when is he going to be pinged here? I'll tell you what, this sort of tackle you James, can't pull James. out of. I don't, I don't think it's a penalty. James, can you please go over there, mate? I, I know, and I'll deal with, I will deal with it. He's turned around to offload the ball. What do you want him to do? Honestly. Well, he ran up the line, did he? Too late. Yeah. Okay, 10 minutes. Wow, Teague and gone for 10. I'll tell you what, if you saw that in normal motion without slowing it down, how's he going to pull out of that? Jeez, okay. So it comes to offer him, Gary. Tigers looking for another. Their third of the game as Tamo over the 10. 13 on 12. Off ahead, Gowie to Madden. The cutout pass. Ball kept going by Kapoa. As Naden brings it back to the middle. Naden launching his way to the line. He scores for a fourth straight week. It is Brett Naden like a slingshot off the wing. Crashing through the Cronulla Sharks. Gee, that was something to watch, wasn't it? Just straight away, just backed himself there, Naden. Didn't need anyone else. We'll see the sin bin first from the Sharks. I don't think Wilton could do much about this one. Well, he's already in the motion of making a tackle. But anyway, it's play on. And look at Naden. Get the ball goes down on the ground here. Scoops it up. The defence didn't keep coming across. He spots an opening and goes straight through. Great run, Naden. Scores under the posts. Well, nothing doing there. Yes, they had the extra man, but that is a sight to behold. Brent Naden started the year at Canterbury. And... Well, he's pumped up. And they've held sway in this second half at least. It's the eighth Sinbin for Cronulla, by the way. St. George and Lawara have the most. Canberra also have eight. But, uh, looking for it. Not going to make a difference to this result. Now, hang on, we haven't had this confirmed yet. We have not had this confirmed. Okay, bunker, checking for a possible instruction in the lead up to the try. We're going to see if a Tigers player in the line impacts the defence. Oh, no one so far. Well, they had a free grab on him. Uh, Musgrove, it seems, is the one they're looking at. Although that's off him, Gowie. No, he's not in anyone's way. No, he miss, just misses. Uh, the it's Tigers player is in front of the ball. Oh, goodness. And Royce Hunt has to then push around him to try to defend. OK. The Tigers player is not entitled to be in front of the ball and in the line. Well, have a that decision. ends that. Cronulla penalty. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, we've got some more news on Toby B. Rudolph. James Hooper, what can you tell us? The Cronulla Sharks have confirmed Dan it is a suspected MCL injury. Best case scenario, he has to go for scans and he could possibly be available next week. Worst case scenario, of course, could be four to six weeks. Jeez, that. Now we're in the zone, Hoops, where four to six weeks is so crucial. Dear, oh dear. It's such a world of difference between four and six. With what happens in weeks five and six from this point on. So Cronulla with that penalty. Already into, into the territory of the West's Tigers. It comes down from McGuinness. And he's a big minute player too, Toby Rudolph. That, that's... One thing they can't afford to be losing. Royce Hunt, big impact player. Hamill Newelle, the same. Boy, haven't they had an impact tonight. So inside the 20 is McInnes now for Hines. The kick which pinballs and comes away for Tarmo. Well, good thing too about Toby Rudolph with those other guys that are power players. He's got a fair, fair engine on him. He loves taking the ball and carting the ball forward and, and does it big numbers big numbers after impact and he's their work rate player in the forwards so Teague Wilton in the sin bin Tigers have tried disallowed still a fair bit of time with Wilton in the bin They're not leaving. They're, they're soaking as much of this up as they can. Here's uh, Mortalo at the back now. Oh, and he's away. Dewey by the back of the shirt. So out it comes now for Ramian. Now, they've seen a knock on there, Kapoa, but Punch Judge did not and maybe he had that one right McInnes midway through the set Braley Hines working the short side and keeping it going Ramey into the centre he had Fanukan ready to crash through and Ramey takes the tackle now Fanukan gets it we get to the last play As Hines, Trindle, and that could be six again, although, although Naden, good soccer skills and good speed as well. Another kick, and oh, if he just hauled it in. Although the chase of Dyke just put a little bit of pressure on him, and now Cronulla return in kind. So it comes back here to Graham. Well, this has opened up. Oh, Naden, they were such wonderful kicks. And now we've got a penalty against the Tigers here. I've got to make James. So hit him in the head, don't You're going to allow that in this game? Perfect. Ah, just couldn't haul it in. Some real frustrations bubbling. Now, already taken a, a shot at goal. It was late in the first half, but no, not now. Not now. They want another try. So here it comes from McInnes. Another crash play. Roy's Hunt. That's his 11th run. Well over 120 metres. Hines is just going to run it into the line as Garner. Along with Tamo, finally they get Hines to ground. And we've only got 12 plays here, Cronulla. Braley getting it on. Fanukin, Fanukin a chance. Short, and they turn him over and keep him short anyway. As now it goes through the hands. Hines away to Ramian. Ramian back in field. Ramian into an offside defender. 
So they start again. There's one thing we know about the shark side, they're pretty patient. And Hines just happy to take the tackle, knowing it's the second. There's a, an attempt by Finucane to do what Amon Uella and Hunt have already done. Braley. Oh, they've got a chance here. Trindle just held down by Madden and Kapoa. With a one-man disadvantage, there seem to be holes everywhere. Tigers, though, just hang in there. And there's a good tackle from Tamo racing up. And really racing up off his line in this second half. On the last, a kick back to the middle. And that is going to be allowed to hit the back fence for all of Cronulla's attack. They have not forced a line drop out tonight. Not going to matter, though. 36 to 12 as we enter these closing stages. You see, Wilton will come back with only a minute left. Garner. He's been a contributor for the Tigers. First game he's been used in a couple of, uh, couple of weeks. So, no, you're not going anywhere because we've got a beauty on the way. Certainly, you're good to see Brisbane in action. There's the kick. And, oh, and dawdling there was Dykes. And he wore one from Naden. Naden has just come alive in this second half. And now, all right, Naden is getting it for Mikavalu, who did not like that treatment on Dykes. And now, the crowd at that... Southeastern end gets a bit more value for money. He's covered some ground, Naden, hasn't he, over the last 10 minutes? He's been quite willing in this second half. There's been a bit of uh, spice about it, even though the result has never really, well, never been in doubt at all. So this is what happened. Naden there collecting dikes. Kavalu out of his weight division there, but that wasn't going to stop him sticking up for his teammate. Hey, Matt. Some of the people no, in that no, corner would have learned a few new mate. words. There's nothing in that tackle. We've got a penalty out here. So, nothing wrong with the challenge from Naden. And it's the reaction of Ikevalu which cost them a penalty. There you go, they're into it, those fans and the hoodies. <laughs> that bloke in the grey turnaround, he missed half of it. Do you notice not one single camera phone? That's a pleasure to see. They're actually <laughs> looking at what's in front of them. Ten metres out, the Tigers. An extra man, remember. Musgrove, Brown, off of Hengawi. Oh, a little dart, not this time. Not this time for New Brown. It worked once. Yes. Now they've had a third earn on 11 against them once this year, Cronulla. It comes out here to Kapoor. They've also had a third earn on 11 in their favour. Not much doing here for the Tigers, so it comes to Laurie. Going out to Dewey. That's a nice pass. Garner. Oh, the flick pass. It was just a touch too extravagant. And Garner, perhaps, could have pinned the years back there. Tigers miss out again. Yeah, I reckon the idea was right. Just the execution. Just a little bit too hard out the back here. Mm. The ball just knocked down by Mulatello. Well, perhaps they had him covered there, but the pass not finding the mark. Straight there, Zane, straight. 
So it hasn't been the most clinical display, has it, from Cronulla in this second half, but the, the game obviously was gone at half time, 26 to 6. Do you think Craig Fitzgibbon would be all that disappointed by what's happened outside of Toby Rudolph's injury? Oh, no. Uh, uh, look, they had to go on with it and score a couple of tries in the second half to make sure of it. Yeah. 26 to 6, as you mentioned, they were doing it in a canter. Well, but the Tigers have had a lot more ball, and when they've had the ball, they've got a fair few offloads. They had none in the first half, and that just upset the defensive line of the Sharks a little bit. That's Eagle Wilton. There's Hines. Well, he will over 100 metres. He dropped one early, Laurie, which was uh, unfortunate. It, it led to a Cronulla try, but he really has tried his guts out tonight, Kapoa. With this looming as the final set of the game. So stick around. The Broncos coming up next. Newcastle looking to make it back-to-back -back wins. and Boy, that would throw a spanner in the works if they had to upset the Broncos. There's uh, a wild one here. Laurie. Brisbane, of course, can still get themselves a home final, so they've got a lot to play for, even if top four is beyond them. Tamo now pounding it down the middle. So this is it for the Tigers. Oh, Tamo there. Getting a little physical with Braley. So on the last, ah, we see a Dewey special. I haven't seen one of these in a little while. That's a classic top. Oh, the chase of Naden. And it goes out the side, and that is it. Job done for the Cronulla Sharks. Over 10,000 here in Tamworth have seen Cronulla continue to march on. They're heading to the finals. They look destined to finish in the top four. They may even go into the top two. Full time at Scully Park. Cronulla 36, West Tigers 12.